there's a TED talk by Kelly McGonigal, uh, How to Make Stress Your Friend. Have you ever seen that one? I have not. Oh, you would love it. It's a okay. really good TED talk. I'd love to hear you. I'd love to have you watch it and tell me what you think okay. of it. It's only like 17 minutes long or something like that. But they studied 30,000 people over eight years and they asked if they had low stress, medium stress, or high stress, and if they thought stress was good for them or bad for them. And they said two groups stood out the group that had high stress and said stress was bad for them, had the most deaths, the most illnesses. So you'd conclude, and most problems, so you'd conclude stress is bad for you. The group that had high stress and thought stress was good for them had the most successes, the best health, the best lives out of all the groups. So wait a minute, is it the stress or is it just the belief the stress is bad for you? And then they started to take the, st the study deeper and they started to look at, okay, the, the heart actually gets more blood flow when they think stress is good for them. When they think stress is bad for them, they get cortisol production. When they think stress is good for them, they get oxytocin mm. production. And so cut a love drug comes out instead of the stress drug. And so their whole way relating to the world based on the belief so cool. chemically was so That's different. so cool. Literally based on their perspective of what was happening and why it's happening caused a different chemical response and a different adaptation. Yes. Biologically. 